Hello and welcome to this microbit tutorial brought to you by the Tamworth Library Innovation Studio. This is the third video in our series. I would recommend you check out the other videos first uh, because they get harder and harder and you need to know the previous information. Uh, we're using the uh, microbit, um, this little guy here. However, remember you don't need a physical device be because we, do, we can do it through the virtual microbit on the Make Code microbit website. Uh, this week we're doing um, our lesson on the turtle, so let's get stuck in. All right, like I said, we're learning about the turtle in on the micro bit. Um, first of all, we're going to have a bit of a look at uh, what turtle graphics is and a little bit of the history, um, and then how it works on the micro bit. Then we're going to do a little example where we're going to draw with the turtle, giving it commands, um, and then we're going to build on what we did last week with loops. We're get, uh, the turtle is a really good um, way of um, teaching how loops work and when to use loops um, and then of course at the end I'll give you guys a few challenges uh, for you to complete. So the turtle was developed 53 years ago with obviously the idea of um, teaching people how to code and um, it's a really good way to teach it because you can visually see uh, the results of, your, of what you're, the code you're putting in. So you give commands to the turtle to produce basically the lines on the screen. Um, and the micro bit has a little extension which we're going to use in which you can make a, a simple turtle little, a dot on the screen. And remember, we have to use our imagination, um, move around. Um, so what, what can it do? Um, once you've added the extension, you can move and turn, so you can set it to go forwards, backwards, turn left and right. Um, it has a little feature where it will leave a trail behind it, so you can put the, it's like a pen, you can put the pen down, which means it'll draw where, leave a line wherever you go, uh, or bring it up to stop drawing and move to a new position. Um, you can also change the brightness of the trail that it leaves behind and tell it to go home. So it's quite a basic set of commands, which is, is good for what we want to um, do today. So if we open up our browser and we go to the Make Code Microbit website, the link is in the description. And we, of course, we're going to create a new project. All right. Um, once that's loaded, uh, we then need to add our extension for the turtle uh, because you can see we don't get the commands for the turtle yet. So it's under advanced and extensions. And here's where you find all sorts of goodies um, if you have extra devices that you plug into your micro bit. Um, you can find them here. Uh, but we have this one down here called Micro Turtle, and if you click on that, it should add the extension. And you'll know you've got it if you've got the little turtle icon on this section here. Um, so pause the video there. Um, you want a new project, and scroll all the way down in Advanced, Extensions, and add the turtle extension. Okay, so let's do some basic movement with the turtle and we'll, we'll put a few settings in at the start to make sure the turtle's doing, um, doing what we want and, and behaving, behaving himself. So uh, you have a few things um, to start off with. So you can set the initial position of the turtle um, using the set position. The default is 2-2. Two, two. So if you remember from our previous um, lessons. The graphics here is a 5x5 five five array and position 2, two, two is zero, 1, 2 across the top and zero, 1, 2 down, uh, going down which gives us the middle position. So any movement we do will be from this middle position. Um, the second thing we want to set is the brightness. By default the brightness is a bit dim and the way it displays on the screen is a bit um, strange. So I like to go for about 200 for that. Okay, and 
um, let's just put in move forward and see what happens. All right, so you can see it moved forward and did not leave a trail behind. So if we want to leave a trail behind, we need to go in here and use the pen down command. So I'll put that above and move forward. And you should see that it leaves a trail behind and it is slightly dimmer. You may not be able to tell, but it is. Um, so we'll pause it there and make sure you've got the, those initial steps in with the setting the position, the brightness, putting the pen down and moving forward one. All right, um, next thing we can do uh, is let's make it move around and do some turns. Um, so if we put a turn left in, then move forward again, you should see that it moves forward, turns left, and then moves forward again. Now if we go if we go forward two. See that it moves two places. So let's let's just put a few more uh, movement commands in, so uh, we can see um, how it works. So feel free to just put a few, few commands in, see how the turtle moves. Um, the idea is just to get an idea before we move on to doing something a bit more advanced in the next step. Okay, pause the video there and have a bit of a go. Okay, now I've got the basics. Um, we're ready to take on uh, another activity. So um, if we were to get the turtle to draw stairs so we wanted to draw stairs now we could do this obviously just with the uh, draw the draw dots uh, draw a graphics and just click and make these stairs however we're trying to use the turtle um, so if we were to use the turtle to draw these stairs you have to use forwards and turn say left or right to to draw the stairs and you might think well that's fairly straightforward still you just turn right move forward one step turn left, move forward one step and you've drawn the first part of the stairs there. And then what do you do? Again you would turn right, uh, move forward, turn left, move forward to draw the next step. So you're basically doing it four times. So I would say if you're doing that, um, should if you, if you understand programming concepts you instantly go, oh I'll, I'll do a loop. So I'll loop that four times make it so much easier in a few lines of code. So uh, let's do it. Okay, so we're back with our um, previous um, example when we were just um, mucking around and, and getting to know the, the turtle. So what we'll do is um, we'll actually leave these initial settings. We'll get rid of the movement blocks because we're going to do new movements. And we need to set our initial position. So our initial position is going to be start, say, at the bottom of the stairs. At, um, you can see when I put my mouse over it, at 0, 4. So it's 0 across and 4 down. So if we change this, 0, 4, our turtle should start at the bottom. Now we're going to leave the brightness at 200 and have the pen down. Um, now we'll draw our first step and then I'll show you guys how to put it in a loop. So we turn right then move forward, turn left. 
and then move forward again. Now we should have our first step. All right, pause the video there, make sure you've got your turtle with starting in the bottom corner and drawing the first step. Okay, uh, let's put this in a loop so we, sh we can loop it uh, four times. So if we go to our loops section here, we have a, a number of options. Now, uh, we don't need, last time we used this for loop with an index. Um, this time we don't need an index uh, for this particular uh, loop. All we need to do is for it to repeat four times. Very handy, we've got a repeat four times loop right here. So we'll grab that and we'll put it in here. If it doesn't pick up your code blocks, we can, you can move them in there after you put the loop in. And let's see if it works. All right, and you can see what's happened there. It's, it's done out that mo same movement four times. So instead of writing it out four times, we can just see the pattern and use the loop. All right, uh, we'll pause the video there and then um, we'll move on to something else. Okay, um, also make sure we save this one. So we're going to save this one as turtle loop. And we'll save that. Okay, it's time for our challenges for this week. So um, the first one I've got is just using that initial um, movement where we're just telling it to move forward or turn. We don't need loops or anything. Um, just see if you can get the turtle to write the first letter of your first name. So mine is J, so just like that up in the top right-hand corner there. Um, the next one is I want you to use loops uh, to draw a square. So there should be a pattern there where you're, where you're turning and moving. See if you can get it to loop and draw a square. Maybe try some squares of, of different sizes and in different positions as well. Um, and the other one is to draw a spiral. Now the spiral is going to be tricky. Um, in this one I started in the middle and went out. Um, you want to use that for loop with the little index in there. Okay, there's a little hint for that one. Um, that's a bit of a challenge. And then of course, as always, I would um, advise you to just try one of the uh, other tutorials from the Make Code website. Um, there's, there, there is one there for the turtle. So if we scroll down on the website, uh, it should say tur turtle and there's a square spiral and scanner. Um, so check those out, have a bit of a go.